to the pot design then select a plane which you want to sketch first we have to draw a symmetric profile of the piston for using a revolve feature specify the dimensional constraints for rectangle then draw a center line for reference just select a quick trim delete the unwanted line segments after that exit the workbench just click a shaft and specify the center axis now the piston cylinder is basic shapes is created then select a make plane go for sketch here we have to select a rectangle we have to draw a center rectangle at the edge face of cylinder specify the dimensional constraints for rectangle the purpose of rectangle is to create a groove for a piston rings after creating a single rectangle we can utilize it by the translate feature so after specifying the required dimensions you have to select your rectangle and then use a translate feature specify the number of instances to be produced and click a point as a reference in your rectangle then drag the rectangles you have to specify the value value defines the in between distance of rectangles then just click a endpoint then exit the workbench we are apply the groove command so select a groove and specify the center axis for creating groove just click ok now our groove is created then we need to select a midplane again just offset the midplane for specified distance then select a offset plane and go for sketch here we need to draw a rectangle specify the dimensional constraints for rectangle After that exit the workbench and use a pocket for creating a cut, change the direction, now the pocket is created, just you have to mirror the pocket, so we have to select a pocket to be mirror and go for insert and select a transformation features, select a mirror, now the pocket is mirrored at both planes. After that we need to create a Gaggion pin. So select a rectangular face and draw a circle and specify the dimensional constraints for the circle. Then exit the workbench. Here we are using a pocket for a circle. Change the directions based upon your requirement. Make sure you have must select a circle only for a pocket feature. Select a type up to the next or last based upon your requirement or up to the surface. Just click OK. Sorry, there is an error with pocket feature. while you creating a pocket you have to just select a pocket and specify the depth of cut for a pocket 
and specify up to the next and click ok now the pocket is successfully created then we are going to apply the shell command go to the dress up features and click a shell and select a face to apply the shell feature we have to specify the thickness for applying the shell feature now the piston is successfully created here then we need go for sketch again just you have to Draw a profile for make a pocket by using your arc. Just exit the workbench. Now we have to make a pocket. Specify the limits. Use the first or second limit based upon your requirement. Now the pocket is created. Just hide the unwanted planes. Then we are apply the auto fillet. Go to the inset and click the advanced address features. Just click at auto filleting. Specify the radius value for create a auto fillet. Autofillet is generating. At last, we have to apply the material for the piston. Just select the metals. After selecting a specified required material. Just drag it and click apply material, click OK. Now we are going to save the piston for a assembly purpose. So go to the file and click save us. Save the piston for a continued assembly session. Specify the name for the piston here. the part design